How's it going, everyone? This is Shao Junior 1030, and today I'm here to bring you all another Jurassic World Live content, and this time I'm going to be covering the next event schedule. Even though that Legendary Rush event schedule is coming to an end, but wait until you hear what this new one has to offer. So without any delay, let's go ahead and get right into it. If you take a look at the screen next to me, theme for the next event schedule is going to be North America Week. It's going to be from June 28th until July 4th. Let's first go over the Fiji Creatures, then we'll go to Tri Towers. From Wednesday to Thursday, you will have 27 attempts that are either Drigger Rex Gen 2, Pearl Storage Gen 2, and or Sanoterex. They have hybrids. The one I recommend darn the most is Pearl Source Gen 2. Reason because it spawns less than the wild the other ones. Friday to Saturday, you will have 12 attempts that are either Edibosaurus, Gidonosaurus, Rhodosaurus, and or Compi. Like I said, with the commons, these ones have hybrids. I recommend use your attempts on Giganotosaurus, reason because it's event exclusive. You will also have two attempts that are either Alloraptor, Trizonyx, and or Edosivia. Like I said with the uh, common epics, these ones have hybrids. I recommend use your attempts on Edosivia, reason because it doesn't often be a feature creature. Sunday you will have one attempt that are either Thodosaur, or Ceratosaurus. Now I recommend use your attempt on Ceratosaurus. Reason because just to get to level 25 in case if it gets an Apex hybrid near future. You may or know Ludia could surprise you. Additionally you will have three attempts to dart Diablo Ceratops which I recommend use your attempts on. Next week Monday to Tuesday you will have 24 attempts to dart either Rulosaurus, Caposuchus, Tyrannosaurus Rex Gen 2 and or Baryonyx Gen 2. Like I said with the common epics and the other ones, these ones have hybrids. I recommend use your attempts on Caprosuchus. Reason because it doesn't often spawn in the wild like the other ones. Getting to the strike towers, Wednesday, standard common friendly, standard rare beginner, rare strike experience that will focus around the Tyrannosaurus Rex Gen 2. You also get yourself a standard epic experience. Thursday, standard rare beginner, standard epic beginner, a sense strike theme experience. You also get yourself a stat boost strike of bands to focus around damage. Friday, standard common friendly, standard rare beginner, a epic master strike that will focus around Pyroraptor. You also get yourself a standard epic experience. Saturday, standard rare beginner, standard epic beginner, a rare strike with the enhancement, and this one will be advanced. You'll get yourself a stat boost strike of advanced folks around health. Sunday, standard common friendly, standard rare beginner, a epic X master strike that will focus around Giganosaurus. You'll just get yourself another epic strike that will be expert. Next week, Monday, standard rare beginner, standard epic experience, a sense strike theme that once again be experienced. You also get yourself a stat boost strike of advanced folks around speed and a rare strike that will also be advanced. Tuesday, standard common friendly, standard epic beginner, an epic master strike that will focus around Blastosaurus. You also got yourself another epic strike with enhancement and this one will be expert. Here's a recap of the creatures I recommend you use your temps on. That's everything that the event schedule has to offer. And that's all to cover for today's video. Now let me know in the comments below your thoughts on every cover here. Looking forward to the event schedule. Which future creatures are you personally planned or the most? Let me your thoughts, I'd hear it. One last thing before I wrap things up. If you're curious as to why there was a big gaps between me talking about the future creatures and also the strike towers, that's because there was noise that was getting so loud and so I had to cut it out and then edit it. So hopefully you guys understand. Now, the second thing is if you're curious as to why is the background behind me, is this all green screen? No, it is not. To prove it, yeah, not green screen. Now, hopefully, you all did enjoy today's video. Look for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give the video a thumbs up, turn my channel, subscribe bell for more content videos, and as usual, see you all in the next video, and until next time. <laughs>